Hey, this is Mike. I'm down at Judd Coon Chevrolet in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm checking out this 2015 Chevrolet Cruze 1LT. And uh, this one is a black granite metallic color, and it may not be all visible in the in the video. It kind of looks black, but it is kind of like a granite color. Um, it's a little bit different when you see it in person, and also in um, you know different lighting conditions. But you see, it has like a LED. I guess that's a. I don't know if that's a fog light or if it's a like a running light. But uh, anyway, this vehicle is a 1.4 liter turbo engine uh, vehicle, and it has a highway fuel economy of 38 miles per gallon on the sticker. Really good gas mileage, and it's pretty roomy on the inside. A lot of good, um, a lot of good things that people say about these these cars. They, you know, they really like them. They seem to be reliable. So here's your, uh, there's their 16 inch wheels, aluminum wheels, and they're they're painted. These are painted aluminum with a, like a silver metallic coating. All right, so here's the inside of the passenger door, and it's got like a, some of it's slightly soft to the touch, some of it's kind of hard plastic, and uh, you got this like a net right here, cloth, pretty good sized pocket. You can put a big bottle there. There's a speaker in the door, and you can see. Here in the front, I mean, you've got tons of legroom. Now, this seat's all the way back, probably, so, you know, it's going to diminish the legroom in the back, but just to give you an idea, I like the way it's got this cloth. It's like a fishnet, I guess you can say, here on the dash, and that's the same cloth that you'll find on the seat. Very similar, anyway. And, um, has like a little bit of grip to it, I guess. So you where you're not sliding around too much in the seat. It's got some bolsters here on the side. Got a side pocket there. This one had uh, they have added the slush mats, which is highly recommended. There's your glove compartment, really good size. Now here's the window sticker. Give you an idea. You can pause the button, uh, use the pause button, and you can kind of like see the features a little bit better. All right, so yeah, the, the, the front seat's all the way back, so it's really, you know, limiting your rear passenger's leg room. But, um, but you know, normally you're not gonna drive that far back. So the back seats are very adequate. Haven't had anybody complain about them in this car. Have armrests and cup holders there. And it has the same, you know, grippy fabric here in the center, and then it's got regular black fabric here on the sides. You got a pocket there, pocket in the door. Oops, sorry. Does have a fuel cap. All right, so this one has remote start. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Using the remote start also has a little switchblade key thing, which is pretty neat. And also you can open up the trunk by holding down that button. So once I hold the button, it opens up to about right there. And it's up to me to lift it up the rest of the way. As we're doing that, we can see the backup camera lens there tons of room back here amazing how much room this car, this little car has and the gas mileage you get with it back seats fold down as you can see there's a little hump there so I um, mean it's not a flat surface when you fold them down but it still gives you edit you know gives you some the ability to um, you know add more stuff so let's see what this lifts up and see what's under here all right we've got a little tiny donut 
And that's about it. Some tools and that's about it under there. Alright. I'm trying to get on the the right angle. You can see the you can see that it's a uh, metallic paint, but it is like a granite. It's not really a black. It's more of a black than a granite, but it still has a little bit of granite mixed in, I guess you could say. All right, so we're gonna unlock the doors again since I used a remote start. Here's the inside of the driver's door. Yeah, your power windows, door locks, all that good stuff. Now, since I used a remote start, I still have to use the key to turn everything on. So I'm going to put the key in, turn it on, so I can check these door, these windows. Okay, so that one's a one touch. The back one's a one touch. All right, going back up, I have to hold it. Going back up on that one, I don't have to hold it. Demonstration mode connected by OnStar's high-speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. Power forward and back on the seat, and then a, a manual tilt. Automatic headlight. There's the dimmer switch. And you can see it's got that cloth here on the dash on this side. So much has changed since Geico started saving people. Turn that down. I can put a seat down. Somebody had a seat like way up. It's kind of like a dentist chair. You can go up and down and tilt it and forward and back. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's where you have um, your fuses. I thought it was a pocket there. That's where your fuses go. You have a tilt and a telescoping. You can put it right where you want it. And then lock it down. Just like that. So there's the gauges. And... Basically, um, you have a menu system here where you can push the button and scroll through with this uh, little thing here. Different trips. So it has a little bit of you know information there in that little screen. And the steering wheel has little dimples in it. Kind of has a good feel to it. It's not leather wrapped or anything, but it is, um, it is very comfortable. And you got your little bumps there to make it more sporty looking and to be more comfortable because once you put your hand there, it kind of it's just comfortable. Cruise control buttons are here. Uh, there's your volume for your radio. You can change to the stations there. You can hit uh, through your presets. And then the center button, um, pushing it in, will change it from AM, FM to um, you know, satellite radio and stuff. Your Bluetooth phone, once you pair your phone, you can control it there. Alright, so this one has a, a, um, a touch screen here, so I'm going to hit the home button, revealing all the uh, icons there. Your radio, AM, FM, and, and uh, XM. Also, you have Pandora, Pandora sorry. Uh, that will run off your connect through your cell phone and play music. And it does have a CD player, which is down here. And your phone. Once you pair your phone, you'll be able to make phone calls and stuff like that. So I'm going to hit home. Go back there. I'm going to hit the next button because we've got some more some more icons to look at. There we go. Uh, the USB, auxiliary, and Bluetooth. These are other connectivity options in order to you know, play music through the sound system of the vehicle. Weather. Uh, this right here is telling me the current conditions. I hit menu and I can go to like say a five day forecast and check this out. It's got this little animations uh, for the icons and uh, you got your, your sun and it pulsating and then you got your clouds um, you know flashing with <laughs> It looks like the end of the world on on, uh, on Monday there, but it's pretty neat little icons. Go back out of that. And fuel, this is where you can find 
you know like your nearest gas station and how much the the gas the price is and check out the prices right now that's low I don't know what it's gonna look like in the future but that's a low price right now all right so you've got a home button here that you can always go to and um, and there's you know your presets for your radio change through the stations or change through the tracks here on your, your, your CD player and um, you know your clock you can adjust your clock settings with that and all that stuff and hit home this is a volume button here in addition to the one on the steering wheel you can also also change through the stations here you can open up the trunk here four-way emergency flashers are here there's your temperature so I want it colder I can just go that way the fan speed I can change that and your rest of your climate control buttons are there where you want the air to blow there's the shifter now the shifter pretty simple you just slide it back just like a traditional shifter and once you get it in reverse your backup camera will pop up right here and it gives you an estimated trajectory basically of uh, the way the vehicle um, size is going to fit but anyway I'm running out of battery life so in here is where your USB and auxiliary inputs are cup holders, pockets, OnStar and your lights and stuff visor it has lights and a mirror so see what it looks like back here all right, thanks for watching. We're running out of battery life, so I have to cut it short. But anyways, I think I went over the main features of the vehicle, so I'll, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.